Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have um, an unboxing today but it's going to be um, a little different. It's going to be comparing two different stores. Um, one of the stores is Home Fun. It says Home Fun Store and the other one is going to Natasha's shop. I ordered two different diamond paintings that are similar. Um, they have the same image. Uh, I tried to get them the exact same size, but one store, they didn't have the same sizings. So they're similar in size, um, but not exact. And the coloring is different from one to the next one. So the first one I'm going to do is the Going Natasha's Shop store. <laughs> it's Going Natasha's Shop store. And you know, I wrote it down on here. That's how it's... Well, you've got it in the title. You know what it is. It, this one's a 30 by 40 I paid $9.50 for it. I ordered it February 19th. They shipped it February 19th. And I received it March 7th. Um, so it took 16 days. It's a full square. And this... Uh, I said 30 by 40 nine dollars fifty cents so it looks like they've been doing this bag thing a lot more where they take a bag i don't know if these are specifically made for this but it just looks like they cut one of the bags down the edge and then they wrap them around it so it's kind of like shrink wrapped but it's not and it's i think it's better this way because they're not using um actual tape on the canvas which I have a difficult time taking that tape off a lot of the time and while trying to do it I think that it tends to possibly damage the canvas when you're trying to pull the tape off because you know you're sitting here picking at it and pushing on it and pressing on it so um, there's the canvas here's the drills you can see how they're in in the bag um, there doesn't seem to be any sort of order to them. They're just tossed in here. But it does have inventory. It doesn't say how many bags on here. It, it goes by, well, it does say how many bags are needed. So 150 or either, no. Okay, 150 is the DMC number. 492 is how many are needed so that would be 2.73 bags meaning there should be at least three bags of this color so we'll get into that in a minute and okay here is the toolkit I've gotten this once before I don't remember if it was from this shop or another one it's got the round little disc of wax and everything else is pretty basic and that's the only thing that stands out as far as a toolkit goes okay so this bag is now empty um, this is the image of this one you know I like unicorns and this caught my eye but the one that caught my eye first was the other one and then I saw this one afterwards and I like them both so that's why I had a hard time picking so I just decided to get both of them um, I did pay nine dollars and fifty cents don't remember if I said it but I'm saying it again I call this one the colorful unicorn twin so let's start with the canvas Move that out of the way Oh, Stephanie's not here, Teslin. So yeah, this is just like a flat piece of cellophane with the sticky on one end. So I don't know if this was made to do this, but it's good though because it just left a little bit of sticky on where it was attached to the cam the cover, but that's it. Not much. It did come on a foam roller. So there's the size of this roller. And let's look at the canvas. Yeah, I went to my phone to shut off the 
notifications and stuff, or put it on silent, and I got distracted and forgot to do it. <laughs> All right, so this is the my preferred size. Okay, see, it's already gave me a big uh, air pocket there. So let's go ahead and just start releasing some of the pressure off the canvas. Pull it back. bump which it didn't affect it at all and this has no bubbles at all I see a bunch of rivers which uh, don't affect it whatsoever as far as the image goes I think that is really good you know when you get a 30 by 40 you're taking a chance because depending on the detail you may be, you know, cutting yourself short. But I can see quite a bit of detail here, especially compared to what the picture shows. So, again, that's what the picture is, and that's what we're seeing here. So let's pull this back a little further. See if we can get more of a... push my tripod back a little bit. There we go. And I don't want to get it all the way off, so that's about as far as I'm going to go. So, I think that looks really good. Um, I'm just not sure about the design here. Right here on the, the neck. It's not going to be as intricate as this this photo shows. Plus, there's a braid down there, and I'm not I'm not getting the sense of this being looking like a braid right here. So, you know, this may have been one of those images where it would have been wiser to go a uh, size up. But 30 by 40s, I have a really hard time paying more than, you know, around the $10 price. So let me release it from down below here. See if we can see the braid any better from this side. tell it looks like something <laughs> some kind of hair with a blue thing at the end so we've got some detail but it's not going to be as great had I gotten it a little larger so there's that now I'm going to check the canvas on the next one yes that's me that's me making all the noises She's in the tub. Uh, no, it's just my diamond painting. It hit the table. My husband ran to town to drop off the order at the post office and run a couple errands. But it's almost summer, so it's getting dark later and later, and it's like almost her bedtime. So let's look at this other one. This is the one uh, from Home Fun. Information I have here is this one cost, this was a 30 by 45, it cost $11.33. Um, I ordered it the 19th, same as this one, this other one. I didn't receive it until March 18th, so this one took a lot longer. It took 27 days compared to the 16 days for the going store. Uh, this is what this one's going to look like. So it's the same exact image, it's just the color palette is different. 
Okay, so this one came on a bigger roller. And it, they're using the rubber bands, the clear rubber bands that tend to dent into your canvas. Getting them off because I don't like leaving them on there. Um, what else? Okay, here's their toolkit. They give you a three placer, the good bags, uh, wax tweezers and a white tray instead of the green tray. So here are the toolkit differences. Bags, a large rectangular wax, a small circular wax, no multi-tip, three-placer tip, no bags, bags, and they both have tweezers. This one has the green tray and this has the white tray. All right. And the drills, they actually have them numbered, and they tell you how many bags. You don't want to figure it out, um, like with the other one. And I don't know if they tried putting them in some kind of order in here, but because it's such a large bag and it goes through a lot, it's not in any kind of order now. I just don't understand why they don't roll them up. And make them flat. And this one's round too. I'll be right back. Okay, there are other differences in the drills, but we'll go over that when we get to the drills part. All right. Um, I don't need this. And I, so let's go over. So far, this one took longer to get here. Um, that's the only con so far. Um, they are using a bigger roller. Um, the other con probably would be that they cost over a dollar more. However, there is an extra um, five centimeters going um, up and down lengthwise. And I call this one the blue unicorn, so um, just to compare, here's the size difference, size difference on the rollers. Let's see if it makes a difference on the canvas because that first one was a perfect canvas. All right, so let's look and see how or if having that bigger roller uh, makes a difference. Now this one's starting off at the bottom. I didn't get that bubble this time when I pull it up, so let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that was something I was just realizing. I did order this one in round and the other one in square. So they're not exactly the same, but well, there, there's a lot of differences, but the image is the same. Okay, so that looks like a bunch of nothing right there. I can't even even through the viewfinder it doesn't look like anything it's um i don't know i think that's the bottom pretty sure i'm gonna just cover this back up and go to the top so that we know what we're looking at and th this is very very uh, muted with the colors so it may not be really fun to work on because there's no color really to it. There's just a little bit of blue. And the background, it's not solid. So, so much for, you know, my color blocking. I'm not sure if it's because of the colors or because it's round and the way they do the canvas, but I, I really can't see this image. Um, I can see the blue, I can see the ears right here, and here's the neck. So I can see these clouded cloud areas really well, but the rest, I just don't see the image. It's really, really difficult. Okay, I can see the eye right there. And here's the horn. It's starting to show up, but even through the viewfinder, um, 
I don't, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see. But I think it might be a combination of the two factors of it being around. And when it's round, they put the coloring. It has the training wheels on it. So that extra black kind of dulls out the image that's um, behind it. That allows you to see what the image would look like. And on the squares, they don't do that. So uh, I can't really say how I feel about whether the image will come out clear or not because I can't really see it too well. Uh, I definitely can't see details, so I'm going to have to... I can't compare that. But the canvas looks good. There are no bubbles at all. There's not even the rivers in this one like there is on the um, colorful one. It looks really good. There's, I mean, some wrinkling to the canvas from, I don't know what, but it doesn't, that's not where the rubber bands were. The rubber bands were more in this area, these two spots. So it didn't damage it at all, which is good. And yeah, the canvas is super clear. Very, very good 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 so they both had um next to perfect canvases uh i mean they're they're perfect to me because rivers that were on the other one don't affect your process of drilling and let's see what else the image well because see now if I had gotten both of these in square or both of them in round it would be a lot easier to compare one to the other but um, this does give you the wheels around the letters and symbols and numbers to be able to help help you place them more accurately uh, don't know how many colors there are but I will well actually it says there are 25 colors on this one so let me write that down 25 colors on this one and we'll find out for the other one all right so there's the two canvases and we got to remember one is slightly bigger than the other so how many colors aren't going to be accurate for comparison just because of the fact they are two different color palettes too let's start with the colorful one all right the first thing i noticed was that oh this is really warm i had it sitting on my, my keyboard let me take them off of there All right, so I guess they did include bags. They tossed them in with the drills. So here are those bags, about three of them. And they do have them kind of neatly stacked in here. It's kind of, I understand it is a little harder when there aren't as many drills or colors or because the canvas is smaller because you get a lot of single bags and those are hard to stack. But what they did have, they, they tried, I mean, the major number is the one that's wrapped around so it was attempted but the bags are the kind that with the black writing on it and they're really hard to read you can see 792 down here at the bottom and they put them in black um, paint whatever it's called ink so that makes it really hard to see on bags like this which I'm guessing is 310 which it is see they actually did this in an almost translucent ink you, you, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it they did this I did had this happen in another video too um, 
can see if you can see it. It's not in black, though. But it's written right below the bag. Uh, go back a little bit and see. Okay. And you have to get it just at the right angle to be able to see the number. But I'm not seeing it in the camera at all. But it's there. It's just uh, very, very hard to read. Here, maybe if I ha don't have my hand up there. Let's see, in between. Okay, here we go. Let's put it right there. You can kind of see it right there at the top of the screen. You can see the 310. This, I do not like. This could be avoided. So doing this is a big to me. All right, so I am going to do inventory on this. I'm going to count how many colors, whatnot, and then I'll be right back. All right, uh, we have all bags accounted for. I even got an extra one on the one where it says I needed 1.99 bags. There are 25 colors in this one as well. So, as far as that goes, they both have the same amount of colors, even though the other one is slightly larger. Um, there were a few of them. I had a hard time being able to distinguish what number were on the bags, but we already know that they have um, not the best bag for the drills because of the fact that, you know, you can't read three tens and they use black writing on everything but the three ten which is where they use something absolutely almost clear so that is this one um give me a few minutes i will come back with a new clip and we will go over the drills on the other canvas we'll be right okay so now we will go over the drills for the home fun canvas same nice big bag for a little bit of drills but already we can see a difference here um, these bags have the white strips on them and printed very clearly what numbers they are not a problem not an issue reading them whatsoever and because this is the more colorful one um, we have um, I'm on the wrong page did I do it backwards no this is oh no this is the black and white one so there aren't as many colors they there's the same amount of colors they're just not as colorful um, browns grays got a little bit of blues for the the blue area in the horse but the major color here you know grays off shades of grays browns because this whole area in the background is brown gray for the mane and the outline colors and we do have a it looks like i thought i saw it, yep a large bag of 310 uh, one of these is equal to five of these, in case you weren't aware. Um, they may not have had these in there in any kind of uniform fashion, or they didn't even try. I don't know, because it did not look like it. But the fact that they're very easy to read makes up for any of that. They weren't at least crumpled up and shoved in the bag, which I completely detest. The difference in the key is it actually tells you the exact amount of packs needed. It does also tell you um, how many pieces, single drills you need for that color. And the DMC color, DMC code. Um, the other one also had how many you needed, but when it came to pack packages, they had they didn't instead of rounding up and giving you a whole number they gave you the exact 3.5 or 3.7 type so it looks like the largest 
colors are 779 and 310, 318, sorry. 318 has 10 packages and 779 has 10 packages. 310 only has the five. So this is all that is needed for 310. Not too bad. So I will check to make sure everything is here, which, you know, I might be jinxing myself by saying this. I have not had an issue in a very long time with missing drills. It's It's been months, I, and I've been ordering from all sorts of different companies. So let me double check this, and I will be back with you. Exact amount. Everything is here, and it was so simple doing inventory on this one. I was able to fly right through it because I could read everything, yes. So that is a benefit um, to this one. So the, the cons on this one, what were they? Uh, price was a little bit higher. It took them quite a bit longer. It took them an extra 11 days. Um, but that's about it. I, I like how they do the inventory. Um, I like the fact that their canvas was completely clear. No, no rivers, no bubbles, no puckers. Perfect canvas. Uh, I like how they're, they label their drills with this type of packaging. And that about it. Um, the foam core on this one was thicker. Um, I still didn't see that that was an issue one way or the other because they both came out without wrinkles or bubbles. So, you know, who knows if the size of the core, foam core, makes a difference on um, the outcome of your canvas condition. <clears throat> So this was just, a, a, you know, a little comparison just because, you know, they both looked alike and we're looking at two different companies here and I don't know, killing two birds with one stone maybe. But I think both the companies were good. My, my main thing is the fact that all the drills were there and the canvases were in good shape. So I didn't see any oil in these drills as I was going through them. And, I mean, they both got here with under four weeks. You know, it was nice getting one in, you know, two weeks and two days compared to th four weeks on this one, you know, 27 days. So that was, yeah, quite a bit of a difference. But because I am not hurting for some, a diamond painting to do, it was not that big of a deal to me that one took longer than the other because I wasn't planning to do them right away either way. So there you go, guys. Um, oh, I call this one the blue unicorn just because it only has a little bit of blue. And that's the only thing I could really name it because I could, uh, blue. I'm going to name it blue unicorn twin because the other one is twin as well. All right. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate every one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I post more videos like this and many others. And also it will notify you when I go live because I do go live at least twice a week. And hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, one or the other. Just let me know you watched. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun, diamond painting. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.